Jamie, welcome to Meadow Lane. You've had a morning with the players, a training session with the players. How has it gone and what are your first impressions? Well, I asked the players every opportunity to do the best that they can in everything that they do. And that's exactly how it went today, Colin. So first class in their attitude towards what I asked and went on the grass. It's the safest place to be, the most enjoyable. What do you expect of them in this first week leading up to the game at Crawley, your first match on Saturday? As I've just alluded to before, Colin, they do the best they can in everything that they do. And that's the only expectation and demand that I will put upon them. I'm bound to ask you how you're feeling about things because you'll be pleased, obviously pleased, we all are when we get a job, and you'll be pleased to have been appointed as the Knox County manager. On the other hand, you can't be unaware of the huge volume of criticism that there is swirling around about the fact that you are the new manager. How do you react to that? Colin, in this game, uh, the thing that alters opinion is results and performances. So until we have the opportunity to win games and play in a manner that people can relate to, then I can't answer it directly in a question from you on a microphone. So. As the games come, that's how I will look to answer it. But in that answer, Jamie, you said that the priority is to win games. Uh, and quite clearly, winning games moves Notts County up the table. Where do you believe Notts County can finish this season, now that they're 18th in the league? Where do you think they can finish? Well, obviously, there's many variables that affect that code. But we want to finish as high as possible with the squad that we have. And to do that, we must win games. At this stage, the Crawley games are most important. So I am planning, preparing with the players to get a result on Saturday. You talk there about the squad that you have, but I'm being told that you will be able, will be allowed yeah. to bring players in during this transfer window. That must have been discussed in one or the other meetings that you've had with the board of directors. So can you follow that up with me and say, uh, whether that's true, and if so, what your intentions are. I think the most important thing, Colin, whether you've got the opportunity to bring players in or not, there's players that are already at the club have a chance in a different environment, which every manager creates, to show what they are because they will react differently. So I think it's only fair that the current staff have that opportunity to show what they are before we talk about changing the, the, the playing staff. Let me draw you a bit more on that. Anybody who's only got to look at the statistics to know that so far this season, with just over half the season gone, Notts County have shipped 44 goals. Anybody looking at that says there's something wrong with the defence. Yeah. How many goals have we scored though, Colin? Do you know how many goals we've scored? Because that's the positive end of it. In this division we score goals. And we can't hide from the fact that we have conceded goals up to this point of 44, as you've pointed out. And that is an organisation structural thing that we have to address. Why? Because we want to win games in a manner that is attractive but effective. Have you seen Notts County play? Yes. When did you see them? I've seen them numerous occasions this season. And what impressed you most, say in the last game or so that you've seen? Ability and opportunity to score goals. Which in any division is the most difficult thing to do, achieve and if you don't, you have to spend a lot of money to correct it. Defending is about structure and organisation, role responsibility, and that's the key to us winning games and moving up the league, as you stressed. About attacking football, you're rather reflecting there the philosophy of your immediate predecessor, Ricardo Moniz, who was very big on attacking football, um, but left not a bit wide open at the back, or the players did, not necessarily the manager director responsible, but attacking football was his great philosophy. I think the choice of words was not by chance, I say it's attractive, effective football. Because attractive, effective football is on the attacking side, where you create opportunity, you score goals, but to be effective you must stop the goals calling. So therefore you have to be organised, structured and set up in a way that allows that foundation to go and attack in order to win games. I have to tell you that I like the word effective because it was the favourite word of Jimmy Cyril, the most successful manager here at Notts County ever. 
Uh, if I used to say to Jimmy after games, and Knotts had lost, but you played well, Jimmy, he would say to me time and time again, I, but we were no effective. You're saying the same thing, aren't you? Yeah, well, as I say, choice of words is important. And, and it's not by chance that I use the word effective because effective means we gain our goal, our purpose, which is win games in a manner that the fans and, and everyone involved with the club are engaged by, enthused by, have the passion, looking forward to the next game. Is it just coincidence that he was another Scottish manager? Well, well it might be. You know, it might be the accent. Or the, <laughs> you know, um, that, that, that is coincidental. Uh, the fact that you've alluded to he was the most successful manager, then that's obviously set me a challenge to be a more successful manager, and not only that, a more successful Scottish manager <laughs> now at Notts County. Can we move on to something else? Um, and it is that uh, when Ricardo Moniz a couple of weeks ago um, lost the job here, um, his two immediate colleagues, also David Kevin, the assistant manager, and Dean Yates, uh, the defence coach, also went. And that means that you've got the opportunity to bring in backroom staff. Now, I hear uh, that those positions are going to be advertised, but that in the meantime, Mick Halsell will be at your right hand um, to give what assistance you require. Is that right? Yeah, correct. Mick and John will, will assist me at, at the moment. I think it's important what we stress regarding players when, when, when you try to press and probe me about bringing new players in that you've got to give players that are currently here the opportunity and it's a different environment because every manager creates that and it's the same with staff so the staff that are currently at the club will have every opportunity I will call upon them I will borrow beg and steal and I've already apologised to their families and wives because I'll be taking their time and energy and it's important why to hit the ground running for the club because that's the aim who do we work for what do we want it's the same goal as all you guys here we want success and that's what I feel and believe that we have to do in the short term. I know what the fans would say in reply to part of that, Jamie. Yeah. They would say some of these Knotts players have had numerous chances, plenty of chances, and have been found wanting. Yeah, and again, different environment. When you judge players, it's an environment that they're in. When you provide an environment, it enables you to develop a culture, and that's what I'm looking to do. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jamie, just on the on the first thing, welcome to Notts County first Thank of all. What, what attracted you to the job in the first place? Opportunity. Opportunity. Uh, a club that's laced with tradition and history. That has a standing in, in league football. The oldest club in the world, as we all know. And, and behind the scenes, the infrastructure, plan and vision, which sometimes doesn't get seen by everyone that's involved with the club, including the fans, it excited me. It, it dovetailed into what, what I see as, as a genuine opportunity to be successful in what, what is my first job. Because although it's your first job, I've been coaching for 11 years. Mm. You know, I, I've been developing and evolving. And your first job is an important job because if you don't do well or get it right, you might not get a second job. So, so it was a big decision uh, for myself. But it's not a gamble, it's an opportunity, but a genuine opportunity. Mm. And what was the first message you said to the players this morning? Because I imagine you, you would have taken them all as a group together. What, yeah. what, 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 what was your first message? Because obviously that's the first and most important message, isn't it? Because it's the first time that they get, get to see you. Well, of course, uh, and I think uh, football players, it's important that, that you set the standards. And you explain, as, as I alluded to earlier, expectation and demand. Every day when they turn up for work, be the best they can be at everything they do. And that's the demand I make on them. What they'll get in return from me is I will help them in every way that we can to be the best they can be, which will result in performances <coughs> and wins, hopefully. Um, obviously, big mates with, with, with Dougie. Um, <coughs> does, does that mean there's going to be an influx of players from across the other side of the trend? Have you already tapped him up for, for, for a few players? Well, I think you'll find <laughs> that... that when you're in this business and, and if you do your due diligence and you gain respect, whether or not they like you or not because you're a competitor or a rival, then what tends to happen, not only at Nottingham Forest, but at many clubs, uh, will be prepared or willing to allow their players to come to us on loan because it's the human nature of what's in it for them. 
uh, knowing that coming to this arena to play at a level and that the players are going to be developed and improved, then it's a big thing for them. So I, I'll be hoping to call upon uh, many clubs, many players that suit what we need to make us better. I, I mean, you said you've watched the team on numerous occasions. What are your, what are your immediate impressions of the squad? Uh, it, it, we must, must look to have structure and organisation to prevent goals and continue scoring at the rate we are. And and it's not avoidance of the question. It's, you know, a blind man could see that. You know, the mm. opportunity of that. It's yeah. not. It's not rocket science. It's not. It's nothing in depth or a philosophy required. They're the basics. Keep scoring goals. Stop conceding. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, Colin touched on earlier about the reaction. Are you, were you surprised by the reaction? I mean, because obviously, you're the, in any other walk of life, you'd probably get congratulated. Everyone would wish you luck. But do, have, have you found the whole reaction a bit a little bit strange? In 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 terms of what? In, in terms of the negative reaction. No, I think you know. Whilst I don't agree, you must respect people's opinion. You know, in their eyes, I'm inexperienced. Mm. Uh, or you know for the white elf and that's what, what where we're at at the mm. moment uh, and there may be a nervousness or, or an un, unsure about what I am mm. now the only way I can correct that or change that will be through how we perform on a Saturday over a period of time for them to get to know me the fact that they don't know me is why they're making or, or, or coming with that assumption or that opinion mm. so no you know I'm, I'm, I've got to respect uh, where they're seeing it from in terms of perception, and I, I can't control that, mm. but I can affect it. Mm. How long have you wanted this chance? I know because a lot of talk about you've been wanting to become a manager. When did you sort of? I know you had a good career as a player. When, mm. when did you sort of make the decision that you you wanted to be in the dugout and, and leading a football club like Notts County? Over a period of time in my coaching career, I've been developing and evolving the skill set that I believed would allow me to be successful. Uh, and, and I think it's understanding what you are uh, and areas you need to improve on and working on them. Uh, and again, it's, it sounds pretty logical and, and simple, mm -hmm. but there comes a point when you've worked under so many managers who have different skill sets and you need to take a little bit from one mm -hmm. and, and another. There's a feeling, there's a time where, where, where it, it is that, and, it, and that's what I reached. Uh, and I haven't had a discussion with Doogie. That, that's the way I felt mm. and believed it, it, it was just the right time for me. Did you consult any of the people, the managers that you previously played under about going into the job? I constantly, yeah. I constantly pick their brains why, to make me better. Mm. You know, I constantly draw on their experiences, good and bad, to help me be better and avoid maybe pitfalls that they have uh, suffered from. So I have constant uh, contact with them again purely to develop myself, to improve my skill set, so when I have and I've got this opportunity, I have a genuine opportunity to be successful. And what are your immediate aims and ambitions for the, for the season? Win games. Improve the goals against record, <laughs> as people keep alluding to me. And and I, again, break down those barriers that you, you've touched on and, yeah. and, and, and it's understandable. You just want a chance. Thanks. Believe, yeah. trust, these are words that, that are bandied about, mm. but what can I guarantee? A passion and enthusiasm and a desire, because I'm relentless to be successful. That's, uh, that's why I am. A pursuit to be successful. And, and the only way to turn or, or affect or change is what we do on a weekly basis. Right. Yeah. Can I just follow up one of the answers there? Yes, of um, I'm going to ask you about somebody that you know and I know, um, because I worked with him here. Mm -hmm. Do you keep in touch with Big Sam, amongst those former managers? Very rarely, very rarely. He, my relationship with Sam is very um, not as close as what I've been with men that have pulled me in closer to develop me and seen me as a project. Mm -hmm. So on the odd occasion, uh, in particular because of his skill set in terms of organisation, structure, stats, how he works. Yes. Um, on the other occasion, but not to the level that I yeah. have with other people. Yeah. Um, I only see him very rarely these days. We got on extremely mm. well, but I only see him from time to time. He's in the he's in the big school. <laughs> yes, he's in that, that 
of a few. <laughs> yes, I understand yeah. that. But I had to ask you. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Listen, I wish Good. you all the very best. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.